So let's continue and go to part two of this tutorial on, on Audacity on how to edit your audio clips together with your music. So we're talking about cutting and splitting the audio here by just going to edit and click boundary, split. Okay, that's how you do it. And remember to select, you have to go to time shift tool and you can select and move this. Let's go and make it a bit smaller. So if I want just to delete this, I need to go to my selection tool, click and select, and then cut, and that's gone, right? Uh, let's, let's take a look over here, what happens here, because I want this music to actually be a little bit longer and not finish here because the, the, the voice clip, it's still going and there's like audio until the end and I want some more music. So what if I wanted to copy this? How do I do it? I can just control C or go here and copy and then click anywhere where I wanted to copy and paste. And here we go. But I don't want this to be on the same layer. I want to add a new layer over here and have the audio playing over here. No, and the continuation. So how do I add a new layer? So I go to tracks, add a new track. I want to add a mono track because we are working on mono, not stereo. So mono track. And now I go to the magical time shift and I can move this over here. Yes. So then I want to fade out this audio file right where the voice ends. So I go to the effect, fade out, and then that's it. Let's take a look because it's a bit small. So that's where I want everything to end pretty much. And uh, okay, so I'm going to select the parts that I don't want and cut. Now, let's see how this gonna sound. Okay, it's just a sample our audio, but let's see from the beginning how everything sounds. And I can also zoom while this is playing. Okay, perfect. You see, and if I wanted this to zoom in, I can select the parts that I wanted to zoom in. Let's say I wanted to zoom in this part here before the voice kicks in. So I just go to fade in, and that's pretty much it. There's no secrets. Fade in and fade out is just selecting the portion that you want, go to the effect, and just choose fade in or fade out. Okay, and that's how you put voice and music together um now let me let me just show you another important feature on the voice if you want to change the pitch of your voice to go higher pitch or lower pitch you can change here okay so you go to change pitch and then here you can go lower pitch like really lower or really high pitch i recommend um not going crazy with this because otherwise the voice is going to sound really strange look let me show you an example let's select just this part of the voice here and uh if i change the the pitch here to let's say a high pitch look what happens Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Gracias, Patricia. Right. No, that's not nice. Let's undo this. So if I select and change the pitch to a lower pitch, let's go really lower, like an 11, minus 11. Let's see what happens. Play. Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Gracias, Patricia. Wow, that's how they do. That's how they play with the voices when they wanted to transform voices so nobody can recognize your voice. But anyway, for the purpose of these kind of recordings and for the radio, if you just wanted to give a little touch, I recommend not going too crazy. Maybe you can add uh, a lower pitch one or minus one or minus two, 
or if you want to go higher, always one or two, not much, much more than that. Okay. Now, how do you export this? So you need to, you can save the file, the, the project in Audacity format. That's one thing, but I will need the file in MP3 format, which is just by going here, export, and it's that simple. And click on that, uh, select the name you wanted to save it. So I'm going to put Audacity Tutorial. Okay. You see that the type here is MP3, save. And then you just add your name. So add your name, full name, so is better. And then what is this track all about? So it's a tutorial. That's the most important information. And then, okay, hit okay. And here we go. It's exporting the audio. And boom, bingo. That's all you need. Let me know if you have any other questions for now, but that's the basic that I'd like you to concentrate and do some, some exercises, try a little bit with different audios and music and play around this to get familiar with these tools, the selection tool, the envelope tool, the time shift tool, and um, zooming in, zooming out, and, and choosing and playing around a bit with the effects as well. There are many effects you can try and use and, and get curious. But the most important ones for your audio, it's really normalize in here, compressor. These are the two that you should always make sure you apply for your audio files. And for the music, just apply normalize because if the music is too high, the peaks are too high, it's gonna show in red. And when it's all red, it's not good. Okay, you want to make sure everything is in blue, there is no red lines or anything crazy going on, and you want to make sure the waves are looking good. They are you know, strong where they have to be strong, and obviously here it's a small wave because I made it very small uh, because that's the sound that I want in the background. But remember, your voice wave, the, the important thing is to have a nice body on it. And that's it for today. Let me know in the group if you have any comments, if you have any questions, any doubts, and I'll help you with this program, which is very nice to work with. And as soon as you get the hang of it, it's going to be really fun. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye for now.